Hey guys, Blazin here. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you all the wake up techniques and movement tech you can do while on the floor. Uh, this is mainly for beginners, so veterans already know this, but the thing is, is that this game doesn't teach you any like floor movement or, or tech on what to do when you're on the floor. When you go into the practice options, you can see the options you have, but it doesn't tell you how to do them. And that's what this video is for. So without further ado, let's begin. We're going to start with your movement options, starting with getting your ass up. It's very simple, just hold the up motion, or press the up motion, and you get up. This is the quickest way to get up. You can also get up backwards simply by pressing back. You get up slightly slower, but you do create some space for yourself. And you also have the option to roll forward, simply by pressing forward. This is very risky to do, as this is the slowest way to get up. If you're far away and if you want to close in the gap, sure, but I don't recommend using this at point blank. You're more than likely going to get hit, since it's so slow. And finally, you also have the option to roll sideways. This is a 3D game after all, right? So to roll away from the screen, press 1, and then to roll towards the screen, down plus 1. I should also add that you can hold down the down motion to stay on the ground if you want. Honestly, this might be the best way to, uh, like, getting up. This is what I do all the time. You avoid so many attacks, and I think this is very important if you're a beginner to just do this. You will avoid so much shit, I promise. So anytime I get knocked down, I always roll to either side, whichever one I think is best, and then I get up. Saves my ass so many times, and there might even be an opportunity if your attacker keeps attacking, you might end up behind them or around their sides. Again, this is, in my opinion, the best way to get up safely, avoid so much shit, and may present an opportunity for you to attack back. That's all of your movement options, moving on to wake up attacks. So your first wake up attack is simply done by pressing 3. Press 3 and you'll get up and do a low kick. Another attack option you have is down 3. This is one I used a lot back in Tekken 7. And what's good about it is that it's a very discreet wake up attack. But what's good about it, aside from being discreet, is that you kick your opponent, stunning them in place, and you roll backwards to give yourself some space. Your next option is get up mid kick. Just press 4 and you'll get up and do a mid kick. I think it is a little slower than the low kick, which makes sense because obviously you're getting up like fully to do a mid kick. But hey, at least it's another option so you can mix between 3 and 4, hence, you know, mix up between a low and a mid kick. Just so that you can keep your opponent on their toes as they keep attacking. Alright, now for the couple crazy ones. Uh, your other option you have is roll forward 1 plus 2. You'll roll and do a lunging attack. Again, when it comes to rolling, I recommend doing this from, you know, a bit of a distance and not point blank. But what's good about the 1 plus 2 roll attack is that it is plus on block, so it does give you advantage against your opponent. And now for your last wake up option, just simply press 3 plus 4. You'll get up and do a spring kick. It is a little slow, but what's good about it is that since you lift your legs up, you may potentially avoid some low attacks and kick them right back in the face. Be careful using this option because if it's blocked, you'll be punished for it. Alright, we went through movement options, we went through wake up attack options, now I have a few quick get up options. If you need to get up quickly, like right now, and you know, just right away as quick as possible, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, I'm going to call these like quick get up options, and there's about three of them. So, let's say you get knocked back by classic Kazuya's Hell Sweep. If you need to get up right after, just press 1. Pressing 1 will roll away from the screen, and you can see how quickly your character gets up. And to roll towards the screen, you actually press 3. No timing is required either, so just mash 1 to roll away from the screen, or mash 3 to roll towards the screen.
As for your last quick wake up option, uh, the way how I've been trying to get it out consistently is hold any kick button or both kick buttons and mash forward. This is an option I don't recommend and sometimes you may get it accidentally. Uh, I don't recommend this option because most of the time you probably won't get this out unless on accident. You basically do like a mini spring kick. Bonus tip, and this has nothing to do with the floor. Did you know you could do this against the wall? Yeah. You can run up on the wall and either kick or punch, depending on your character, right back. It is zero on block, so it leaves both players neutral. You can do this by performing a back dash and then press up back. And that's it. No button is required. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, a few other notes I want to mention is that, you know, all those get up options, uh, when you're like uh, laying face up, you know, you're. you're your face is looking up against the ceiling and your ass is on the floor. Um, you have access to everything, but let's say you're on your stomach instead, or if you're on your side somewhere, uh, basically any other direction your character is facing aside from their ass on the floor, you won't have access to spring kick or the roll forward uh, lunging attack. And also some, some of your low and mid attack animations might change a little bit, which will also affect the frame data slightly. Alright, I think that covers everything when it comes to the floor game and an extra wall tip. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I wanted to make something like this for Street Fighter 6, but Street Fighter 6 does a good job of teaching the player basically everything. There was really no room for me to, you know, make a guide for that game. But with Tekken 8, there is room. And, you know, I saw that the game never, you know, it, there's really no place to teach the player about what to do when they're on the floor. And also the, that extra wall tip, you know, from, from what I can tell, there's nowhere in the game that, you know, that tells you how to do that. And the same thing with 7 as well. And 7's worse on that part. <laughs> 7 doesn't tell you the whole move list. So hopefully I was able to fill in that tutorial gap that's not in the game. And, you know, hope it helped you guys out. And, you know, if there's anyone else that's new to playing Tekken, you know, share this video around. And that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to stick around. And until next time, peace.